Pompeii, home of the 1988 National Garden Festival, a unique setting for the opening round of this year's Leyland Daff Power Sprint Championship. After five heats, one to go. Drew Robertson, the fastest so far. He, David Cooper, John Lund and Stephen Kerr already through. On now to heat six, the final heat of the men's skulls. On the far side, Arthur Wood from Camus. And the near side, Ian Law, 25 years old from the St Andrews Boat Club in Edinburgh. There's Arthur Wood, a former miner, 44 years old. Woods, another high rating man. He's really going for those short, hard strokes. You can see him just bulldozing his way through. He's a big man, very powerful man. And Ian Law on the near side, steadying into a longer, more loping kind of rhythm. Yes, it looks like a classic battle of strength there against the style of Law. Coming up to the halfway mark, and there's the time at halfway. Nearly two seconds better than the previous best, and Law just in front of Arthur Wood. Arthur Wood caught a little crab back there, and he, but he's piling the pressure on. He's steering rather badly over the boys. They're getting very close together. And they're Law again. He's caught a crab there on the near side. Very little in it. They're very close together. And it looks as if Wood has just squeezed a little bit of a lead. You can see this rolling water making it very difficult for them to scull. But he's bulldozing his way through, and he's just got the edge on Law at the moment. Yes, he has. Law doing all he can to make amends in this last 50 metres or so. And he's hauling Wood back stroke by stroke as they come to the line. Very, very close indeed. And it looks as if Law just got in front. Indeed he did. 0.3 of a second in front of Arthur Wood. A marvellous race and a great comeback. Very fast. Both of them catching crabs during that race. Both, there's Law shaking his head, thinking of the number of crabs he caught on the way up the course. Here we can see it again where he actually catches that crab. Yeah, and he loses his skull even. He loses his skull, but he picks it up again. That's very well recovered. And to go on and win and record the fastest time, that's a very good performance for me and Law. Here we see that close finish again. Neck and neck as they're coming up to the line. And Law's just got it by a fraction. A tremendous tussle. They both qualify. Law in first place, Arthur Wood second. And there's the list of the others who qualify for the row-offs later on in the programme. Way do a bit more training, get that extra second, two seconds that I need to beat Dave, so I uh, should beat him down there. Yes, they're safely through to the national final. Here are two who should join them, Arthur Wood and Ian Law. There's Arthur Wood, the 44-year-old former miner from Bedlington. And the youngster up against him, 25-year-old from Leith near Edinburgh, Ian Law, rowing for the St Andrew Boat Club. With the far side, Law the near side. Oh, Law got away nice and quickly there. These scholars raced each other in the first heat, and Law, despite a crab, ran out the winner. They've got away nice and cleanly this time on the slightly better water. And that's Law settling into a nice long loping rhythm. He's a nice scholar, Law. They're very even here. Arthur Wood on the, the far side. Slightly down at the halfway point. But look at the time. Nearly a full second faster than any before in the skulls. Wood there is a real head down and bang merchant. He's really driving on, keeping the rate up. Ooh, getting a bit caught there. Boat rolling around. He's going after Law. And Law pulling away all the time now. He's really establishing that stroke. Rolling a little bit in the rough water, taking a look across, but he's getting a good lead. Oh, and a bad crab from Wood. That set him well back. And another one. Wood's having a terrible time over on the far side. Picking it up again, and he's fighting back. And Law has taken full advantage. A game row from Wood, but Law wins pretty comfortably by over two seconds, and the time very fast indeed. Full second or more inside the previous best. It's a good skull from Ian Law. See how well he goes when he has a clear run without any crabs. He should do well in the finals.
That was a really good time you made. Tell us about the race. Um, we both got very good starts. Uh, the water's a lot calmer than it was earlier on, so we're doing very well to about the halfway mark. But then a boat must have come up just after we started because we got hit by the wash. So it was very sort of bumpy and lumpy, so we nearly fell in, but uh, we survived anyway. <laughs> Del you delighted with your performance today? Oh yes, today. very much so, yes. Have you been surprised by the strength of the field? Um, I knew there was quite a few good scholars there, uh, especially in the last six, so I was quite pleased at how the, the race went now. And what about Peterborough? How will you prepare for that? Um, lots of sprinting work, lots of practice starts and just speed work basically, get as much speed as possible. And there are the four who go through, Ian Law, David Cooper, Arthur Wood and Drew Robertson, Stephen Kerr and John Lund will just have to wait and suffer.